make your marriage to work make your marriage to work everything that you see working today someone make it work i remember one, uh, one topic in physics it says that every object is at its rest until force is applied force is applied so no marriage that works today that works before the marriage it is people that make that marriage to work husband and wife who understand what marriage required and the price marriage also required they understand the role that each and every one of them will play in that marriage that is the marriage that will work and that is marriage that is working and that is marriage that you are cherishing make your marriage to work there are marriage crises everywhere these days it's like Satan specialized in breaking homes. It's like breaking homes is the, is the highest strategy for Satan this end time, breaking of homes, breaking marriages. You see couples divorcing every day. Couple divorcing every day. You go to church, problem everywhere, problem. But I want you to understand that in a marriage, a man is not perfect. A woman is not perfect. Man is imperfect. Woman is imperfect. So now, when the two imperfect come together, they become perfect. So you will make your marriage to work. Any marriage you are cherishing today, somebody make it to work. And in order to make your marriage to work, you must understand what marriage is all about. As I, as, as I said in one of my videos, that marriage is not all about chewing shingon. Marriage is not all about Brazilian hair. Marriage is not all about bedside. It's not all about, all about bedside. Marriage is not all about kissing. It's not all about going for chopping today. Because when a sister has not married, or when a brother has not married you, he will be taking you to, to, to beach, taking you to, to cinema hall, taking you to shopping malls, taking you to boutique, taking you to different places. But when he marries you, you discover that those things may not exist anymore. You now enter into remarriage. Those things he was doing for you then is like uh, throwing out bread for you or throwing out meat for dog in order to catch the dog. So when you when you finally marry, those things, those nightclubbing, those parties he was taking you before, those things he was taking you, those shopping malls, those places he used to take you, cinema hall, beach, and all these things, we stop. Especially when children begin to come in that marriage. As I said, the side is only 5% in marriage. But 95% is responsibility. Responsibility. So now, you will make your marriage to work. You marry a man. Don't marry a man that is not yet be delivered from his parents. You will suffer in that marriage. If you want to marry any man, and that man is not yet delivered from his parents, he's still a baby to his father, to his mom. He's still a, a, a mommy boy, a, a daddy's pet. Don't marry that man. You will suffer in that marriage. Whenever you come encounter a man that never have decision of himself, a man that cannot be able to detail what to do, a man that cannot stand stand without his parents, a man that cannot be able to look, pursue life and grab destiny. Don't marry that man. If you marry him, you will suffer in that marriage. And also, when you come encounter a man that had no vision, a man that had no vision, because most of the time, you want to marry a, a man because he had money. But you forget to understand there are many people that marry a wealthy man yesterday, today, that are living in abject poverty. The whole money has disappeared. So it's not money you will look for when you want to marry. It's not money. I know that money play mighty role. Money play major role in marriage. But marriage is beyond money. Our olden days parents, they live a happy marriage. They live long. They live old. They live in old and they die in old age. But you discover that this present, this present generation 
is breaking up every day. Marriage break up every day. So now, there is something to look for beyond money. You will look for a man that has vision. A man that has vision to succeed. He may be poor today. But as long as that man has vision, and as long as that man has that passion to pursue destiny, marry him, you will enjoy that marriage. And also, sister, if you are a lady, hear me. Marriage is beyond makeup. Marriage is beyond beauty. There is something you must look for before you engage into marriage. You know that marriage is beyond Yvonne. It's beyond your present look. It's beyond your shape. Because some sisters, some ladies, some ladies, they are after shape. They are looking for nice shape. They are looking for, uh, for nice shape, nice color, nice skin color, everything. It's very important. But when you marry, you discover that those things will be there. Yet, you'll be, you'll be seeing problem in that marriage. Because marriage have responsibility. It's all about responsibility. There is a price to pay for marriage to work. And the, if you try to cherish uh, another woman outside, you are cherishing other women outside. You are cherishing other man outside. You, you wish you are the one that married so, so so person. You wish you are the one that married so so woman. You want your husband to be like so so, so man. Those people you are cherishing, they make their marriage to work. And even your marriage, that's your marriage right now. You can make it to work. You can make it to work. You can make it to work. Everything that works today, somebody makes it to work. Anything that is working, somebody make it work nothing has ever worked by itself in life life will never give anything chance or opportunity to work no you are the one to make it to work anything that works today somebody make it to work and you must make your marriage to work stop bringing people into your marriage stop bringing your parents in your marriage stop bringing your your your, your father in your marriage Small thing that happen between you and your husband. You call your parents on phone. You call your brothers on phone. Small thing that happen between you and your husband. You tell everybody. You go to church and table it. You go everywhere. You call meeting because of conflict between you and your wife or between you and your husband. You are ending up destroying that marriage. Don't allow third party to enter your marriage. As this message is coming to you, sister, brother, you are not yet married. You must learn what marriage requires before you jump into it. You can look for one of my videos titled Causes of Divorce. You look for one of my videos titled Causes of Divorce. That video will bless you. It will bless you. Please show me that favor. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, follow me on my Facebook page. Don't forget to drop your comment. Forward this message to as many as you can. May the peace of God and God of peace be with you. See you next time and bye for now.